Hello everyone. Welcome to 2018 Ango Idol. This is Milo. This is Jared McFarlane. And how's it going tonight? First off. Yeah. You guys can get a lot of that. Come on, let's go. Ooh, let's hear it. We're gonna have a great bunch of performances here. I think we got about eight performers. And uh, we're sponsored by Northwoods Karaoke and DJ. And Corey Keppel is our DJ. Yep. Ooh. All right, to get this thing started, we got last year's runner-up, Elise Incha. of the queen. He likes to keep his fire engine clean. It's a clean machine.
everything. Wow, what a great performance to start off the night. I don't know how you're gonna beat that. Mr. Blood, thank you again for going out there. Let's give Mr. Blood a hand for being a prop there. Wow, tough crowd. So, up after this, we have Ashley coming up next. But uh, first, if you guys don't mind, I might tell a little joke here. <laughs> it's right. okay not to laugh, by the way. It's gonna be funny, don't worry. All right, what do you call pasta? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call pasta that's dressed up? Impasta! Oh. All right, Ashley, you ready? Heck yeah, I am. All right, give a hand for Ashley. Lot of people. Hi! <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Come on now, the after class. Don't be hanging around the back of the schoolyard. I've been caught it by a teacher Said she can't even reach her Cause you're so far You've been talking with your fists We didn't raise you up like this Now who did we? There have been changes in this house Things you don't know about in this family it Don't make sense but Nevertheless You gotta believe us It's all for the best it Don't make sense Things go, son, you should know. Sometimes moms and dads fall out of love, sometimes two homes are better than one. Some things you can't tell your sister, cause she's still too young to understand when you love someone. I'm sorry. So, nervousness isn't a good thing. I could tell you that much. And I completely forgot what I was doing, so. Thanks! <laughs> I can't remember, so I gotta think. Well. What? Just keep going? Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start now because now I messed up. No. Uh, okay. What? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Shut up. Eh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I remember where I'm supposed to be now. Sorry. Okay. Sometimes the best intentions just ain't enough. Some things you can't tell your sister, cause 
she's still too young yeah you understand when you love someone when you love someone when you love someone when you love someone a really good job like when all is said and done you finished it and you did it well it was a really deep song that I thought was like you conveyed it very well um, I wish that you would just like owned it you just like got up there and just been super confident but I, I understand like anyone who's seen the Christmas concert for us like knows <laughs> that I know what you're talking about but yeah I thought you did a really good job and I like that you played it with your ukulele Whenever somebody brings like a prop on stage, ukulele, et cetera, you kind of have this question in your head about, is that gonna be like the gag? And the beautiful thing was you did the song so well with it. It's a great song for your audience, high school kind of song that you have a bunch of high schoolers here, but it's something that reaches everybody. We all have those feelings. So I thought it was excellent. I really enjoyed it and it was even better when you kind of got warmed up and did it the second time through. So beautiful, thank you. Ashley, I loved the song. It was beautiful. Um, I couldn't tell you were nervous at all, and I loved that you were just yourself and continued on. Well, just like the rest of our lovely judges, I loved your song choice. I thought that it was really beautiful. I loved that you played the whole way through. Um, the only thing that I would say is I would have had no idea. If you would have just played that little jingle for a long time, I would have had no idea. You would have not known where you were. So just keep going. Just have fun with it. You I did great. I completely lost myself. So I was like, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That was They just really keep getting good. better. We don't know what to do here. All right, next up for you guys, we have a commercial, actually, from Student Council. Yeah, all right. All right, come on, guys. I know, we want more singing, but... All right. All right. I don't... Yeah, we have the projector coming down here. We got a projector. Right there. <laughs> right there. While we're waiting for that, does anyone else want to hear some more jokes? <laughs> you got one? We have a crowd joke. I believe it's Corbin Krieger. Yes, it is. All right, Corbin, what's your joke? Why can't ghosts have babies? Why? Because they have Halloweenies. <laughs> Hey, we gotta keep it PG-13 here, all right? <laughs> Join wow. student council could make you 15% or more happier. Do you ever have great ideas but no one listens to them? So does anyone know what to do? Ooh, me! Do you ever wish you were more involved in school activities? So, Miss Chachi, what clubs are you involved in? Um, you know what? I don't think this job is right for you. I'm sorry. Do you ever want to make a difference in your school and community? Student Council. Join and share your ideas. Get involved and make a change. It's what we do. If that doesn't make you want to join student council, I'll know it will. Should we go next year? Yeah. 
All right, up next we have John Hanneman singing Fall For You by the Second Hand Serenade. <laughs> what he said. Second Hand Serenade. Hey guys. Hey, hey John. How's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna sing this song, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the best thing about tonight's that we're not fighting. It couldn't be that we had been this way before. I know you don't think that I am trying I know you're wearing thin down to the core But hold your breath Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you Over again Don't make me change my mind Or I will live to see another day I swear it's true It's a girl like you is impossible to find You're impossible to find This is not what I intended I always swore to you I'd never fall apart you always thought that I was stronger than But I have loved you from the start Oh, but hold your breath Because tonight will be the night That I will fall for you over again Don't make me change my mind Or I won't live to see another day I swear it's true is impossible to find You're impossible So deep in so deep Bleed me in I'm yours to keep Bleed me in Cause dark is cheap Me tonight When you're asleep because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again Don't make me change my mind or I won't live to see another day I swear it's true Because a girl like you is impossible to find You're impossible to find We'll just go round and round and we'll come back with it. Excellent song choice, John. Sounded really nice. Um, I'm a percussionist back in the day. I would have loved to have heard a little more percussion on the guitar. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff. Not necessarily for that song with it, but you do have spots in there that would, that would enhance it even more. Great job on the guitar. Uh, sounded wonderful, so that made it really nice. It's neat to see people accompanying themselves, so that was fun. Uh, keep working on it. The stronger you get in your singing, you could tell because there's a little bit of airiness in the voice that left when you were pushing. So keep that support under there and go. It looked great, sounded great. Thank you. John, I loved it. I have known you for a few years now and I've always thought you had the greatest personality and you're just the nicest kid and I, I'm sorry, but I never knew you could sing. And that was, you just blew me away. So, great job. Thank you. 
I think it's really hard to choose a song that's on the radio because everybody's expecting it to sound a certain way and to come off a certain way, but you rocked it. I think you did really good, and you, you lowered it to your voice, and you did really great, and I found myself kind of tapping along to the song, so good job. Hi. Okay. You did, you picked like the perfect song for you, I feel like. I feel like you communicated it so well, and you gave it like a whole new life. Like I felt like I was hearing it for like the first time almost, and I was like, but you picked a song that everyone knew, so like everyone was already gonna love it. It was amazing how you did it. And also, your playing guitar was amazing. Like, mm -hmm. I would never be able to play guitar that well, so I'm just saying I'm jealous of you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, was that a tearjerker? His potential is going through the roof. I believe wow. in a couple of years, you're going to be hearing that man on the radio. And you're going to think, I sat in this theater and listened to him sing a song. Amen. So up next, we have another commercial from one of our great clubs we have in this Antioch High School, DECA. DECA. And that will be coming down on the projector in about... Does anyone have a joke in the crowd? That, that Ben Stamack in the crowd? Do you have one? <laughs> Stamac? Oh, I'm sorry. Steam it. Oh, Corbin Krieger with another one? Corbin Krieger. <laughs> Keep it PG-13, please. Why should you knock before you open the fridge door? Why? There might be a salad dressing. <laughs> oh, knee slapper. Let's go, Deca. Woo! Hey guys, hi. What is this place? Guys, what the heck? Are you not in Deca? Are you bored on the second Wednesday morning of each month? Do you like going to the Mall of America? Do you like donuts? <laughs> Would you like to work in the Deca Deca? If you answered yes to any of these questions, join Deca. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, I'm joining DECA on Monday. <laughs> if you're not in DECA, I don't know what you're doing. Holy cow, they're doing it right over there. <laughs> All right, up next we got Abby Lewandowski. And she is going to be preaching Never Enough by the, the Greatest Showman. Let's go. From the Greatest Showman. From the Greatest <laughs> Showman. We knew that. We were making sure you were listening. <laughs> I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? my hand will you share this with me cause darling without you all the shine of a thousand spotlights all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough never be enough towers of gold Never, never, never 
All the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it'll never be enough. Never be enough for me. Never, 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 never for me, for me. Never enough, never, never, never enough, never, never, never enough for me, for me. Well, Abby, I think Mr. L is going to be disappointed <laughs> because you are not going to be a scientist. You are going to, you are going to be a celebrity. <laughs> and you look gorgeous. I thought you looked gorgeous in winter ball, but you look gorgeous tonight, too. Thank you. I think the song was beautiful. I kind of laughed because at auditions, you were like, my dad told me that I could either go up for Annika Weidel or do something for my mom. So here I am. But you rocked it. You did so well. Hi. Okay. So I could just feel the emotion coming out of your words. Like, I wish that you would have like delivered the text better, like maybe had more consonants. But other than that, like I felt everything you were saying. I like felt all the emotions of. I've never seen The Greatest Showman, but whoever was singing it, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. Okay. So <laughs> I just, it was amazing, and I wish you just had more confidence because as soon as it finished, you went. Like you were terrified, but you did amazing, and I just, good job. <laughs> I have seen The Greatest Showman. <laughs> How can you not see The Greatest Showman? Wow. Has anybody seen The Greatest Showman? Okay, good. Thank you. I hope. Um, so, great. If you haven't seen The Greatest Showman, I'll get Go see it. It's a tremendous uh, musical film, and it's got a great message. Go see it if you get a chance. If it's out on DVD soon, get it. Um, so it's a great choice. Uh, thank you very much. Really beautiful job. Uh, make sure to... It, it, it took you till about halfway through to get up on top of some of the notes. And when you did, it was beautiful, but it took you a little time to get there. Support. Get up on top of it right away, hang with it, okay? Nerves I get, so practice on that because the second half of that song was beautiful. So excellent job, thank you. Thank you. Holy cow, that performance had me weak in my knees. <laughs> we might have a winner. And you know, Mr. L, if I get an A in chemistry, wink, wink, we can make that happen, all right? <laughs> and me, maybe? <laughs> Not Jared, just me. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna play a little game here called the old dance off, all right? In between Everyone singers. Loves it. And we randomly selected two dancers out of the crowd, and those two dancers are. Ben Stemak and Corbin Krieger. <laughs> so get up here. Randomly selected. Randomly selected. When you bought a ticket, your name was put in a drawing and we just picked it. I people. closed my eyes and I spun around and that's who I pointed at. This is Ben Stemak. This is Corbin Krieger, good for his jokes. Okay. Do we know what song we're doing? Corbin's not wearing socks. I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> just that's disgusting, honest. don't do that. <laughs>
whip, watch me nay nay. Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Can you do it? Now I mean, watch watch me, watch me, watch me. What do you call a sleepwalking nun? A Roman Catholic. I won't hear that one. Thank you guys. Love you. Wow. Can we get a round of applause? Wow. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Liz Eldridge. And yeah. she, she is singing Black Velvet by Alana Miles. Yeah, she is. Alana Miles. Make sure you're listening again. Yep, there we go. Every word of every song that he 
few plans A few plans A few plans Perfect song choice for you. You rocked that. I'm always a fan of a good country, soulful song. Um, it was clear that you didn't need the words on the karaoke, so I guess I just wish you would have like rocked the stage a little bit more, you know, moved around because it was a really soulful song and you could have brought a little bit more power to it with that, but beautifully sung. You have a very like especially when you get loud and when you have your power behind you, you have a very country sounding voice, which is why I'm so glad that you chose this country song. It was like, a lot of people, like when they try to sing country, it just kind of sound funny, but you sounded just amazing. You could tell that you were like born to sing like this. I wish it would have like, even through like your quieter parts, been like that same kind of feeling, but like when you got out there, you were like killing it. I was loving the whole thing. That's kind of a classic song, so it's always tough when you're singing a classic song. Um, excellent movements with it. I like that you're kind of rocking with that. That's a great thing, it adds emphasis to it. Um, with a classic song, you added a little bit of your own touch in a couple spots, which is fantastic because then people know what you can do and you're not just copying something. Uh, a tough song to choose because that song needs some heat. And my dear, y'all brought some Mississippi heat to that song. You brought some smolder and y'all brought some smoke. And that is the kind of thing you got to do if you're going to sing that song. So we thank you for that. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no business judging a singing competition. Um, but... I know a good voice when I hear one, and that was awesome. I feel like Dairy Queen would sell so much, so much more ice cream if you sang while you were making all of the. I do, but they normally just can't hear me. <laughs> wow. I'm like bringing a little country old Hick Town Annie go, right? <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> <Yee>! All right. <laughs> so uh, next up, we got another commercial from the art club. <laughs> yes. It's a club, yeah. <laughs> Big club. Ben Steemack has have, a joke. We have some more crowd jokes, apparently. One, uh... Two jokes, holy cow. I don't think the crowd can handle it. All right, I'm not sure if you guys heard this one when I set it up there, but what do you call a sleepwalking nun? What? A Roman Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. If Forrest Gump had a Facebook, what would his password be? One Forrest One. <laughs> All right, we got another one. Okay, here's final one. It's uh, cap it all off. It's kind of like the finale. What do you call a deer with no eyes? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> wow.
there's no such thing as mistakes, just happy accidents. But it'd be a mistake not to join art club. Wow. So apparently you get to meet Bob Ross if you join the art club. That's pretty neat. Who doesn't want to meet Bob Ross? Good old Bob Ross. All right. So if you guys had bee lunch today, I made a little announcement and said, we're going to have a drawing for people that come to Angle Idol, and it's going to be something with wheels. It's going to be huge. And you're going to love it. Jared? You're going to love do, it. You want to do All the honors? Right. I got the keys here to a new Chevy Silverado decked out with dualies and the double turbo and all those shenanigans. It's got a huge whammy bar. <laughs> we wouldn't give it away if it didn't have a whammy bar. Exactly. It's, it's a necessity. All right. So at random, we picked a winner out of this crowd. And that winner is Zach Jaji. Get up here, Come Zach. Come up to the stage, Zach. Give him a round of applause. Woo! Wow, he's just ecstatic. <laughs> we can feel it. All right. Do you have any words? Uh, this is amazing. Um, my car has not been doing very well the past couple of days, so this really helps out a lot. And I'd just like to thank you. <laughs> this is big help. And I, I actually have the truck here backstage. Let me go get it for you. <laughs> I need the keys. So, Josh, how's it going today? Oh, a lot better now, actually. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! <laughs> A little Bernie there for you to show you the torque it's got in it. <laughs> That's the whammy bar is going. <laughs> yup. The, the tire's a little screwed up, but you can fix that. No big deal. About $50. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care if I drive it home? <laughs> you can absolutely drive it home. It's perfect. We got ice storm outside. It's got real good traction tires on here. It's going to be great. <laughs> is the license and everything in the glove box? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't need to get pulled over. <laughs> All right, let's give a round of applause for Zach Dottie. <laughs> oh, man, listen to that torque. Whoa! <laughs> Jared, I have a question for you. What's that question? Do you know what torque is? Absolutely. All right, you don't need to answer it. Uh, my, Ford, my Ford Focus has a ton of torque. It's about 10,000 pounds of torque. <laughs> All right, next up, we got Noah Royce singing Stars from the play. Is that, is that Italian? Uh, less, mes, less miserly blaze. It's actually French. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> In the darkness, a fugitive running, fallen from God, fallen from grace. God be my witness, I never shall yield till we come face to face, till we come face to face. He knows his way in the dark. Mine is the way of the Lord. Those who follow the path of the righteous shall have their reward. And if they fall as Lucifer fell, the flame, the sword stars in your multitude. 
scarce to be counted, filling the darkness with order and light. You are the sentinels, silent and sure, keeping watch in the night, keeping watch in the night. You know your place in the sky. You hold your course and your aim, and each in your season returns and returns, and is always the same. And if you fall as Lucifer fell, you fall in flame. And so it must be, and so it is written on the doorways to paradise. That those who falter and those who fall must pay the price. Lord, let me find him that I may see him safe behind bars. I will never rest. Till then, this I swear, this I swear by the stars. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. you have such a big, full voice, especially when you get to those low notes. You just hit them so beautifully. And I'm just very sad that you were never in choir or musical. Sorry. And you sing like that. And anyways, um, here's Mr. Blood. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, it's always difficult to do musical theater when you're just singing a solo like that, when you don't have a dedicated stage and you don't have the scenery and you don't have a context for people to know. So with that, you did an excellent job of getting the, the music to us, getting the feeling to us, um, some beautiful spots in there when you could kind of just let everything go. It's a fast song. If you do if you continue to do stuff like this, uh, pick something a little slower so you can let that th those big notes come out from you because that's going to sound really, really great. But I know how much you love Les Miserables. <laughs> For those French. who don't know it, there. Yeah, we, oui, we. Oui. So, uh, magnifique. Thank you very much. When my husband and I watch American Idol, we always judge people if or decide if we like them or not based on if we would want to go to their show. And I think that we would definitely want to go to yours. It was very good. So similarly to John's song tonight, it's hard to pick a song that everybody knows, but it's also really hard to pick a song that nobody knows. And I think you did really well. You have a really full voice and you really it came across very nicely. You did very well. Wow, that was very good. I'm a little disappointed coming from a French play that he didn't sing it in French. Are you sure it wouldn't be in Italian? Because it's got my heart pretty for Gile. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up, the performance you've all been waiting for. <laughs> we like to save the best for last in this kind of thing. And don't worry, we did save the best for last here. This guy's gonna come through, he's probably the most clutchest guy I know. Work with him at the hut, hashtag hot life. <laughs> All right. That's the piece of hut if anyone's wondering. Next on stage, the last performer tonight, singing Ice, Ice Baby <laughs> by Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Billy Hall! <laughs> Uh, here you go, Miss Sun. We give these to your sister.
Yo, VIP. Let's kick it. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back, my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, flowing like a hawk for daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow to the extreme, or like a mic, like a vandal. Life a stale, try to hump like a candle. Dance. Chris, the speaker, the moves. I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly. When I play a don't melody, anything less than the best is a felony. Love it, leave it. You better can't wait. You better hit balls out a kid, don't play. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while my DJ revolves it. Now that the party is jumping with the bass kicked in and the beggars all pumping, quick to the point, to the point, no bacon. Cooking MCs like a pound of bacon, burning them. Yay, quick and nimble. I'll go crazy when I hear a cymbal on a hi hat with a souped up tempo. I'm on a roll, it's time to go solo. Rolling in my 5.0 with my rag top down so my hair can blow. The girl is on standby, when till I say hi. Nah, I just drove by, kept on. Pursuing to the next stop. I bust a left and now I'm heading to the next block. The block was dead, yo. So I continue to A1A. Beach Run Avenue. Girls were hot, weighing less than bikinis. Rock the mothers, traveling bikinis. Jealous. Cause I'm out getting mine. J with the gauge and vanilla with the nine. Ready for the chumps on the wall. Chumps acting nibble cause I pull an eight ball. Gunshots range down like a bell. I grab my nine, all I heard was shells. Falling on the concrete real fast. Dumped in my car, slammed on the gas. Bomb with a bomb of that and was packed. Trying to get away before a jack gets jacked. Police on the scene, you know what I mean? Pass me up, I'm running all the dope memes. If there was a problem. Cause I'm a lyrical poet, my aim is on the scene Just in case you didn't know it, my town That created all the bass sound Get hold against your holes in the ground Cause my style is a chemical spiel Spit these rhymes you can vision and feel Conducting in Forbes, this is a hell of a concept We make it hype, and you wanna step with this Set jade like a phase, sliced like a ninja Cut like a razor blade so fast All them demons say, damn, if a rhyme was a drug I'd sell it by the gram Keep my composure when it's time to get loose Hematize on the mic while I spit my juice if there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook when my DJ revolves it. Yo, man, let's get out of here. Word to your mother. Date. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Billy. <laughs> Mr. Blood. Yeah. All right. One. Played it beautifully to the crowd, obviously. Right out with them. You knew the song. You took it right to them. Beautifully done. And for anybody who has never been up on a stage and you think it looks easy and that these guys are really, you know, oh, I don't have to really be in shape to do this. You can see how much energy and effort it takes to be on stage and still rock that song. And my friend, you did an excellent job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, mister. Thanks, Ms. Blood. Oh, so much to say. Um, yes, you had great stage presence, and you really got the crowd going, and it was great. And I'm sure Mrs. Husnick loves the flowers. Sweet. Um, her husband, the police officer, is with her, by the way. Sweet. Um, <laughs> um, I had a vanilla ice sweater back in the day. 
when I was like two. And um, it was pretty great. I'm not gonna get a Billy Hall sweater anytime soon, but I still enjoyed it. I love your outfit. I love the Thank you, creation. I just had to put on my pajamas. It's so good. Um, you clearly knew the song. You rapped it in the crowd. I love that. Um, I loved your crowd involvement. You did really good. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Hey. I, I don't really know what to say. That was, that was kind of awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! The beers are hot in here. You're dropping that ice. <laughs> I got a joke. I got a joke. All right, so you guys' jokes are pretty good, but to be frank, I'd have to change my name. <laughs> Guy can do it all. Oh my goodness. We got a prodigy on our hands right here. All right, well, now, sadly, we're out of performers, but it's your time to go vote out in the comments out there somewhere right now. <laughs> yeah, go out and vote in the comments go and then come back in and see who your winner is. Slight intermission. There is cookies out there, so for sale, sorry, not free. I didn't know that. Come in my life in my direction. So thankful for that, such a blessing, yeah. Turn every situation into heaven, yeah. Oh, you are. All right. The votes are in. First, we have to do thank yous, though. We do have thank yous first. Jared, you do thank yous, I'll do winners. All right. First off, I would like to thank the wonderful judges we had. Elise Incha. <laughs> Mr. Blood. <laughs> Miss Sun. And Mrs. Kratz. All right. And then our DJ, Corey Keppel, did a great job. <laughs> we got our uh, lights and sound crew back there, led by Mr. Ben Wilhelm. Um, I'd like to thank the junior group, the Young Flexes, for showing up. All right, and then can we get a huge round of applause for our contestants tonight? All right, here we go. The moment you all have been waiting for. No drum rolls, please. Save those for the end. In third place, Noah. Please step forward. Yes, please stay out there. Second place, Ashley. And can we get a drum roll for first place here? Yeah. All right, Billy, you get this just huge trophy. Like, you're going to have to put it in your trunk right here. And, yeah, I, well, it's big. I don't know what you're going to want to do. You're going to have someone else help, help you hold it. There you go. There you go. And a certificate from a place we cannot tell you. Tell you For all it. of Lang Lake County. <laughs> from Lang Lake County. And some flowers, obviously. Encore. I think uh, they want an encore. Uh, oh, uh, um, geez, I, I actually prepared a song for this, believe it or not. <laughs> the theme song of... Now I forgot the name. Oh, yeah, here we go, classic.
Lip syncing. I can't do it. I do it all the time. Oh, time Heck yeah. All right, in the meantime, do we have any more jokes in the crowd? Why we're getting this ready here. Always good for a good last one, you know. Hey, Jared, why don't we go to the other side of the room here? We're being oh, really biased yeah. towards our junior I'm crowd sorry. here and seniors. We, we have talk about them, though. Anybody on this side that has a good joke? Oh, yeah, sophomore, so good. Mr. L, you got a chemistry Mr. joke L. for us? Of course you do. Where is he? He's Mr. there L. behind you. <laughs> there you go. How can I miss you? You were in black. <laughs> it's dark in here. Okay, a rope walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve your kind in here. So he walks outside, roughs himself up, walks back in. Bartender said, weren't you just in here? He goes, nope, afraid not. Oh, no! Ah. <laughs> you did it. Wow, that was a knee slapper. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute to sit right there, tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised On the playground is where I spent most of my days Chilling out, relaxing, outside all cool And chewing some b-ball outside of the school When a couple of guys who were up to no good Started causing trouble in my neighborhood I got in one little fight, my mom got scared She said, you're going to live with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air I begged and pleaded with her She went to the bridge, she packed my suitcase And sent me on my way She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket I put my walkman on and said, I might as well pick it First class show, oh, this is bad. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bel Air live like? Hmm, this might be all right. Oh, wait, she's she going, who bought that whole ad? Is this what the place that they just said, this cool cat? I don't think so. I'll see you when I get there. I hope they prepared for the Prince of Bel Air. Hardcore. <laughs> So I plane landed and when I came out There was a dude who looked like cops sitting in there with my name out I ain't trying to get arrested yet I just got here, I sprang with the light like, quit, he disappeared And when it, happened, and when it came near The license plate's impression, there was dice in the mirror If anything, I could say that this cap was rare But I forgot, oh, I forget it Oh, I'm the Bel Air! That was the encore. Uh, we can't have two encores. It's not how it works. Wow, what a show. Wow. Made some Can real we memories. Can we get one more huge round of applause for these great contestants here? <laughs> Morgan Shizzle, will you got a prom with me? <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. Ms. Husnick. <laughs> I see her. I see Morgan her. Chisel, please come to the front of the... Miss Usnick, I guess you're not going with Billy anymore. Oh, crap! PG-13, please, Billy. Here, your turn. Come here. <laughs> you guys wouldn't understand. It's a hot life thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hope everyone has a fantastic night and drive home safe. Drive home safe. This Take beautiful it easy. April weather we're having is The ditch is not a nice place, I know from experience. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'd like to thank Story Grant, too, for being my mentor.